staff of announcers, Savage Trembley and Walton Berfer, are out uh, at one of the local airfields to tell you something about the Thirdly Eight, the greatest new car anywhere. So come in, Savage Trembley. This is Savage Trembley. We're in a cargo carrying airplane that contains among four or five passengers here, along with my broadcasting assistant. Uh, Thirdly Eight, this is the hard top model. And uh, we're going, in just a few moments, to uh, drop uh, this car uh, through an open hatchway in the bottom of the plane into a target below some 2,000 feet uh, below us. Uh, this is a test to uh, prove the fine engineering that goes into every Thirdly Eight, along with the careful workmanship and the nifty upholstery and like that. This is Walton Berker on the ground. Can you hear me, Savage? Very, very clearly. I can see your plane circling over the uh, target area now. I'm standing just about 100 yards from the outer perimeter of the target area, which is approximately an eighth of a mile uh, in diameter. We're approaching uh, the target now. You can probably hear on the intercom of the plane the gentleman counting off uh, the seconds until actual drop time. Six. It's a six now. Four. It's over to you now to report. They have just dropped the Sturdley 8 into the center of the target area. The Sturdley 8, this grand automobile, has just been dropped, and now the driver is walking out to the center of the of the area, and I'm going to walk out with him. As we show the remarkable rotability and the strength and power in this Sturdley 8. He's trying to find the door now. What a, what a mess. So now he's... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot the key. Now he's stepping out. Here's the key over here, sir. Oh, thank you. Our test driver is stepping into the Sturdley 8 now. And in a moment we'll see whether this test was successful or not. You ready? I'm going to start. And it starts. The Sturdley 8 drives out of the target area, heading over towards the Sturdley Test drive it soon. Well, oh, it didn't work out. I guess it dropped all right. It was when they left the target area. Well, they jumped across the railroad tracks to get to the hangar, and there was something they hadn't thought of. 